Alright, hey guys, Omni Game here, and I'm back with another CX Pickups video. Now, this one's going to be a bit different because this video is going to be kind of two videos in one. So, the first part will just be a standard pickups video, but the second part is actually going to be a vlog, and I'll explain a little bit more about that as we go on. But yeah, this video is going to be part pickups and part vlog. So, the vlog bit will be at the very end, but for now, we'll start off with, of course, the pickups. So, yesterday, me and my family took a trip down to Western Supermare just to do a little bit of shopping and get some fresh air, you know, now we can finally go out to places and now there's the six weeks holidays. And it was actually my choice to go to Western Supermare because like each of the family, we all have like different places that we pick out that we want to go to during the six weeks holidays and I chose Western Supermare yeah, because it has, honest to God, the best retro game shop I'd ever been to in my entire life. And that is MT Games. I don't know how many of you lot watching this have ever been there, MT Games and Western Superman, but it is unreal it is. I mean, like, they sell everything there, bro. Like, not just video games, like retro and modern ones, but they sell everything from DVDs, Blu-rays, action figures, Lego, plushies, manga, fucking air guns. They sell, like, everything, bro. It's insane. It's actually an insane shop. Honestly, if you ever get the chance to go to Western Superman, I highly, highly, highly recommend going to MT Games because it is unreal in there. Believe me, it is unreal. It's almost, like, too much to take in at once because they just have so much stuff there. And not only do they have that there, but just a few minutes away, they also have a CX as well. So I decided to pop in there and this is what I got. So I got five games in total at CEX and only one at MT Games. So we'll start things off with Wolfenstein Youngblood Deluxe Edition for the PS4. This was only £5. And this was the only Machine Games Wolfenstein game that I was missing. Because I have all the others. I have New Order for the Xbox 360. I have New Colossus for the PS4 and Nintendo Switch. And just a few months ago I brought Old Blood for the PS4 as well. And um... And this was the only one that I didn't have. I really, really enjoy the Machine Games, Wolfenstein games. I've beaten both Wolfenstein New Order and Wolfenstein 2. I'm currently about, like, maybe halfway through Old Blood. And uh, once I'm done with that, so once I've beaten Old Blood, then I'll get straight into uh, Young Blood. I know this game didn't get the best reputation, to say the least, but I still wanted to try it out anyway. Yeah, there's the back. And uh, there's the disc and manual. So yeah, this is a fairly recent game, only came out two years ago, but yeah, here it is for Fiverr. You can get this brand new on Amazon for like £7, but... Or you can go to CX and get it for Fiverr, you know. But yeah, I got that. And uh, next up is a game I already own, and that is Just Cause 4 for the PS4. Now, the main reason why I bought this game again was actually because my copy is a bit... Well, let's just say special, to say the least. Because this is my copy of Just Cause 4, and um, as you can see, there's a few things wrong with it. As you can see by the corner right there, it says cover reprinted. This is just a cheap printout of the actual game's cover art. And secondly, the game isn't even in a proper PS4 case, it's in a freaking Blu-ray case. You know, like what Blu-ray movies come in. As you can see the Blu-ray logo right there. And uh, yeah, it has two slots for two discs inside. Like, you know, the cover is just a cheap printout. And the case is just not a PS4 case. So I brought a second copy so I can have the actual cover art and have the game in a proper PS4 case. So it looks more natural in my collection. So what I'm going to do is that I'm probably going to sell this copy like on eBay or something and just keep this one. So now I have a proper copy of Just Cause 4. It even comes with this uh, Square Enix membership thing. That code's probably already been used. But yeah, this was £8, and um, yeah, it's a game I already have, but I want to buy again just so I can have an actual proper copy of it, rather than whatever the hell this is. Alright, so, next up, we got Surfing H3O for the PlayStation 2, this was only 50p. You see the Rockstar Games logo down there? Yeah, Rockstar Games actually once made a surfboarding game way back in the day. Uh, this was um, an interesting time in Rockstar's history where they would kind of just like publish anything really. Uh, this came out in 2000, so this was before even GTA 3 came out. This was one of their first PlayStation 2 games with Surf and H3O. And got a complete right here, although the disc has this weird like rental sticker on it. It says like Grainer Games and it has a bunch of consoles listed like PS2, Xbox, PC, Cube. I'm assuming that's, assuming that's supposed to be GameCube and uh, DVD. Uh, 
Yeah, and not only that, but behind the manual, there's this weird sticker as well. It's got Mario, Sonic, and Laura Craft on it. And as you can see, it's whoever owned this before me tried to peel it off, but it clearly clearly failed. So I'm assuming that this must have been like a, a rental at some point because of this sticker here. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it was only 50p. I decided, you know, why not? Kind of a novelty to have surfboard game made by Rockstar. I don't know if this game's any good or not. I mean, you would think it would be good because it's made by Rockstar Games, but who knows? Who knows? All right, last game I got CX is Forza Motorsport 4 for the Xbox 360. This was five pounds. And this was the only Forza game I was missing for the 360 because I have all the others. So I've got Motorsport 2, Motorsport 3, and Horizon 1 and 2. And now I've got Forza Motorsport 4. So I've got all the Forza games released on the Xbox 360. And yeah, I quite enjoy the Forza games. I kind of prefer Forza Horizon between the two. But the Motorsport games are still quite fun. And this comes on two discs. So you got the so you've got the standard play disc right there and you also have a content install disc. Forza Motorsport 3 had this as well where I think on this disc it just has a bunch of like DLC cars or something. I'm not entirely sure, I never really used the um, content install disc for Forza Motorsport 3 but um, yeah it has this um, game content download thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure that code's already been used. This is for more cars I guess. Now I've got every Forza on Xbox 360. Alright, and last but not least, this is the one and only game I brought at MT Games. And that is Project Golf Racing 2 for the original Xbox. Now if you saw my last CX Pickups video, you would know that I brought Project Golf Racing 1 for the original Xbox when I went to another game shop, more local to me, called Game City. Uh, and now I brought Project Golf Racing 2. And just like with Project Golf Racing 1, I also used to have this game many, many years ago. But I sold it mainly because I never really played it. Like, I had both Project Golf Racing 1 and 2, like, way back in the day. But I only really played the games, like, once and, like, never touched them ever again. So that's probably why I sold them. The game is complete. As you can see, you've got the disc right there, manual. It comes with something else. It comes with this customer service thing, which I think Project Golf Racing 1 came with as well. And, yeah, there's the actual game's manual. So yeah, so I've now officially got every single Project Golf Racing game again, because I only made four, two on the original Xbox and two on the 360, so I've got the complete series now. Alright, so there you have it. That's every game that I brought at CEX yesterday. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, I'm going to show you guys some footage that I captured at MT Games. Hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video and enjoy the MT Games vlog. Yeah, of course I am. We went six years for this. Six
So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog bit. It's kind of a bit short and that's the reason why I put it into this video rather than just doing like a separate vlog on the extra channel which is what I was originally planning on doing. The footage that I did record just wasn't long enough to put into a, a full vlog on the extra channel so that's why it's added in this pickups video. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And if you guys want to know more about MT Games, uh, they have a website which I'll have a link in the description. Plus they also have a Facebook and an Instagram account which shows you pictures of stuff they have in store. And yeah, if you haven't been, again, I highly recommend you do. It is an amazing place. Although it's kind of a bit downgraded compared to what it used to be like because I remember like when we last went there like six years ago in 2015, it looked completely different. And you know, they had like walls of like Mega Drive and PS2 stuff. It was, honestly it was insane. They had a whole like mini area dedicated to just like the retro games. And even though like that's not there anymore, it, it's still good, you know. It, MT Games is still good. And yeah, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and peace. See you guys next time.